Yeah, yo, what's up, my good people? It's me, your boy, F A Y X O L Faizo. Thank you for always keeping locked onto my YouTube channel. Please keep telling others to come and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks to the old subscribers plus the new subscribers. So today we're going to be learning how to make a simple coffee table using electrical pipes plus cardboards. So if you want to know how we did this, stay tuned as we dive in. So with today's project, we're going to be using electrical pipes plus cardboards. I had to step on this just to make it as soft as I could and made cutouts. I made four pieces out of each pipe. But you have to be very careful while using these blades because they are very sharp. Any slight mistake, you can cut yourself. I made as many pieces as I could because I had to make many pieces for a better project. When that was done, I went on to the folding process where I folded two pieces of cardboards for a better installation, as you're going to be seeing. I made circular tracings or trace outs onto another fresh cardboard and made cutouts. These circular cardboards were not of the same size as you're going to be seeing. I joined the two circular cardboards using tough bond and went on to the installation part where I installed my very first cardboard in a circular form onto the circular cardboards. I joined the box using sole tape and did the same onto the second one. When that was done, I used Plascon paint, weather guard paint, upon painting our box. I painted this box three times just to have a better coloring. After that, I went ahead to make cutouts. Initially, I had used two centimeters, but I realized two centimeters were too fixed next to each other, so I went in for four centimeters. I went ahead to start installing in our pipes that were painted gold off camera. As you can see, I went on and installed all of them and burnt off the excess pieces. After that was done, I went ahead to fix in some pipes inside for a better duration and a firm foundation. I cut out some pieces and made a better design on top of the table. I went ahead to make some flowers using tissue. As you can see, if you're Ugandan, you've ever made funds, the childhood funds for aeration. So this is how we make our flower too. You go ahead to fold the tissues back and forth, back and forth until the whole tissue is totally folded. You make a knot in between the tissue to make a fan. It's that fan that helps us to make the flower. For a better look or a better stretch out, you pull out the external edges you straighten them up and do the same to all the other tissues you have to do this on both sides after pulling out our flower i went ahead to spray it with black and installed them onto our table this is how i made our centerpiece don't forget to hit the subscription button please call a friend to come and subscribe, leave any comment below.